What is up Lego game? Nicole here back at it again for another video or if you were the waitress who took my order at Starbucks My name is now Kika. You can join that with all my other aliases Nalias, Girl Bricks A Lot, Nicole, and now Kika. I don't know whatever else you people call me But here we are. Do we make Kika stick? I think it's kind of a cute nickname Kika I know London Bridge Bricks calls me Nick so I don't know, I kind of like Kika. The nickname felt like home, so I don't know. Maybe I'm Kika now, we'll see what happens. Anyways, what is up guys? I have my April haul here, but I also want to just catch you guys up to speed about my life and where I've been and what I've been up to. This year has just flown by so quickly. I feel like I blinked my eyes and it's already almost May, but so much has happened. Back in March, I was able to go on Cali Brick Click. They invited me on and that was so so, so much fun. I'm still shocked to this day that I was invited on there because even though I've been doing Lego for three years, it really feels like I'm still a newbie and I, I don't know, I still feel so new at this. So to be going onto a podcast and talking about my journey is pretty surreal. And then right after we filmed that podcast, I went to the final four in Houston, Texas. It was my first time in Houston and it was warm and sunny and the drivers were insane. Sorry if you're from Houston, but I have to say it, your drivers are absolutely insane. We went to the NCAA final four and UConn, prevailed to the NCAA finals, so we decided to extend our stay. So we spent all of Sunday at the Johnson Space Center, which was so cool. I went inside a space shuttle. Like, I don't know how many people get to go inside space shuttles in their lifetime, but I did, and it was insane. And then I saw the Saturn V rocket, which was massive it was massive so now i can understand why the lego set is so tall and i definitely want to build that lego set but i also don't want to open it because uh lego collector problems but anyways they announced the artemis crew which would be going to the moon and that was amazing um and then after that we went to the ncaa files where we went to this really bougie yukon party i'm I don't know why they invited us, but they did, and it was a lot of fun. And then UConn won the NCAA Finals, which was so cool, and it really topped off a perfect and tiring trip. And then we got home, I had fried clams, I got food poisoning for like five days. Don't ever eat the clams if they're bad, because I promise you this, you will regret it. And then that next Monday, I was off to Switzerland to visit my family. If you don't know, my family is from Switzerland, so that was a lot of fun. We went to Germany, saw these really crazy tulips, then went to Austria, visited Innsbruck, and I found a way to find Lego everywhere. I mean, we're talking every single day. I was finding Lego and uh, they sell UCS Star Destroyers at the grocery store. I mean, it was wild. And then I got back and I was so graciously invited to celebrate Danny Bob Studios 100K on YouTube, which is insane because I've been such a big fan of her since I started out and since she got started herself. I remember her starting out on YouTube, so that was really, really cool to get to celebrate with her. So if you don't know who she is, um, you probably were living under a rock, but if you don't know who she is, definitely go follow her. So yeah, that takes us to today where I finally got to a Lego store for my first time getting to a Lego store in over a month and a half, and it was insanely long overdue. I don't think I've posted a haul since January, which is wild because I did record my February haul, which was basically everything I bought at Atlanta BrickCon, which if you wanna see that, I might still post it, but I don't know, is it gonna look weird if I post a February and March haul in May? It might, I don't know. I might post it one day, but we'll see. So anyways, getting down to today, I have my April haul and I'm gonna show you guys everything that I picked up. I'm really excited because I haven't spent a lot of money at Lego recently. I don't know what it is. Um, if you wanna learn more about that, you can check out my Cali Brick episode because I think I kind of had a meltdown there. Um, but yeah, so here we are with everything that I purchased and let's get started. The first thing that I have here is 
is this free gift with purchase. I think this is the four by four off-road ambulance truck. I have like three of these. I don't know why. I just, I just have such a disappointing feeling when I see this gift with purchase. I just don't want it. I, I don't know what it is. Like, I just don't really care for this to be honest. Um, nothing against the designers. I think a little kid would really have a good time. So that's what I might do. I think I'm gonna take all of these ones and maybe donate them around Christmas time to Toys for Tots because this does not do anything for me at all. The next thing I got was this really cute uh, Space shuttle, this is set number 31134. It's 144 pieces and it is a three in one. I really got this to build the astronaut. I don't know if it's just because I came back from the Johnson Space Center that I'm just obsessed with space lately, but that astronaut looks legit and I knew I had to pick it up. I think this was $10. It was not a necessity to hit the threshold, but it was a necessity for me. You know you've hit rock bottom when you start buying Duplo for yourself. This is the fruit and vegetable tractor and I don't know why I needed to have this, but I mean, can we talk about this? Like you've got this like, is that a, I think that's a strawberry. Clearly I need Duplo to teach me my fruits and vegetables because I can't tell. So this is, I'm assuming a strawberry. I think that's a pineapple and then I think that's a broccoli and then that's a tractor. That seems about right, right? So this was $20 and it was well worth it because I think I might keep these on my desk. Guys, there's like a Duplo cash register thing. It was $50 so I definitely wasn't impulsively doing that but like this thing's legit. Okay, I don't care what anyone says. Duplo's legit. I got two cab wall cups that she nicely stapled together because I don't want the cups anymore. I know you can bring them in, but like whenever I get to the Lego store lately, I don't really know I'm going until I'm there. So I never like have my cups with me. I got a boatload of gray slopey things for a mock that I'm working on. I think I can use them as like hillside detail or like rock detail. So we're gonna see what I can do with that. And then the second tab cup I got, these like dark green angular slopey parts. Next up, I got the Lego mini Disney castle. This is set 40478. This actually came out in 2021. I know I feel like a complete dodo going back to old sets, but I have one already and I wanted to get a second one just to keep sealed, um, just for whatever reason. Um, I just feel like this is going to be really valuable one day and I wanted to have a second one in my arsenal. So that's why I picked up this one. It's just such a cool set. I actually haven't opened mine yet, so now I have a reason to because I wasn't sure for a while there if I would even be able to get my hands on a second one because this was out of stock for so long. So if you haven't picked this up yet, definitely pick it up when you see it because it's been out for almost two years now and I'm telling you, shelf life becomes an issue after two years. The next set that I got, now if you know me, I am a gift with purchase freak and I really only shop for double points or gift with purchases nowadays. I'm really not going in there at random times as much as I used to because my honeymoon phase is over and I wanna be rewarded for my purchases. But I love this flower pot. I know that this looks kind of weird, but I like how retro it kind of looks. It really like is bright and colorful and I love the parts usage. I mean, everything that's botanical Lego, that whole realm uses such cool pieces in the build. And if I can get a second one of these, I'm going to definitely try. I know this is one of those things that I think they're gonna still keep passing out after the promo ends, which I think it's today. Today is the 24th. So yeah, they might still keep passing these out. So if you can get another one, definitely try. Um, but yeah, I think this is so pretty and I'm excited to build it. Now, the last set that I picked up, which is arguably the one that I was most excited for, I can't believe I even found this, but I got the last one left. Apparently this has been just out of stock 
everywhere on lego.com and in stores because everyone obviously wants this up house so i'm so happy that i got it um this brings me so much joy i'll probably mock a kevin but the minifigs, Doug, Russell, Carl, the, everything's so cute in this. And I obviously feel like the last person to get this. Funny thing about getting over Lego FOMO is it doesn't bother you as much when you are the last person to get something because it's new to me and that's what's important. And I think that's something that we have to remind ourselves that just because the set has been out for a little bit doesn't make it any less important to you. So definitely don't feel ashamed to post something uh, after, well after its release date, but not to say that this wasn't well after its release date because uh, it's still new. We're still in its release month, but I feel like everyone and their mom has it at this point. But yeah, I'm so excited to build this. I may live stream build it, and um, I also may get a second one to complete the back of it. Um, but that's just like my preference. I'm really weird with stuff like that. Like I always like to like finish my builds. Um, so yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me. It is always nice to pop on here and say hello. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know which of these sets were your favorite and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps a ton to keep me motivated because you know, I need all the motivation I can get, but I will see you guys next time and it won't be a long time from now. So see you later. Bye.